Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Now, last but not least, the trickiest questions, fully or partially compensated. So remember, the body will try and balance the pH, the acid and base, sort of like tug of war. This balance, once again, is called compensation. So again, think compensation is finding that common ground of balance. Again, a little recap here. If the pH is normal between 7.35 and 7.45, this is full compensation. And if the pH is not normal, we have partial compensation, basically that work in progress. So for example, say the pH is acidic, then bicarb, that base, will try to increase to balance it out. If pH is still acidic, but bicarb is high, then it's partially compensated. So let's do an example question to see this in action. ABG question one, full or is it partial compensation? So looking at our numbers here, pH is 7.32. We have a CO2 at 55 and HCO3 at 42. So we fill out our marching band suit like normal. Step number one, the pH is acid. 7.32. Step two, we're going to find the match like normal, and we find that CO2 is a little bit high and in the acid range. So we know the respiratory icon, it's respiratory acidosis. So the body is in an acidotic state. Now step three, the tricky part, compensation. HCO3, our bicarb, is 42. So we have a high base. The body is trying to pull us out of that acidosis and back into balance. This means compensation. It's trying to work out its problems. So it's trying to find that common ground of compensation. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.